It must be hard to be humble when you're Vic Lee. We're ready. On this day, San Francisco police let Vic try a computer simulated training exercise. I play the partner of an officer. An angry man steps out of a construction trailer. He's confrontational. Suddenly. Oh, he's got a gun. Gun. Boom, boom, boom. Officers are now training through dozens of these scenarios, learning how to de-escalate tense confrontations. From police drama to unexpected interviews. So you were intent on assassinating the president? Yes. To special access to the famous Flintstone house in Hillsborough. Vic Lee has seen it all and taken Bay Area viewers along with him. It turned out that the car thief was in fact the car owner. Vic is known for leaving his competitors in the dust. When assigned a story, if Vic Lee showed up, you had to up your game because Vic Lee was going to beat you. He made everybody better around him. Journalism has always been in Vic's blood. My father was a famous uh, journalist in Asia, and uh, my mother was a Chinese opera star. Vic went to San Jose State University and was student body president. Here he is with homecoming queen Valerie Coleman, who later became an anchor at ABC7. Vic started as a print reporter, then got a job at Cron TV. By the time he came to ABC7 in 2006, Vic was one of the most respected journalists in the Bay Area. Well, Vic is so professional and so efficient and so personable with people in the field that he gets all sorts of things out of people that they probably don't intend to give him. This man is so well connected. He has every source in San Francisco wired. He even has sources overseas. For San Francisco city officials, getting interviewed by Vic Lee has been a rite of passage for decades. I've been watching Vic Lee on television since I was a kid, and he has always been just straightforward, providing the information fair. Former San Francisco police chief Greg Sir calls Vic a legend. He was on every big story, so he knew the backstory, the players, uh, the history, and he was always objective. So uh, to say that Vic had sources, uh, I think I can say it now, I was proud to be a source. Vic did not shy away from tough stories, like the arrests of convicted murderer Raymond Shrimpboy Chow and disgraced state senator Leland Yi. But Vic was also meticulous about providing perspective. Two people, innocent or guilty, do not define an entire community. Vic made it a special mission to follow issues important to Chinatown. I feel that I owe the Chinese community since, you know, being Chinese-American uh, and being sort of a rarity, Asian male in this, in this business, that I ought to cover them. Vic was the first reporter on the scene of many of the Bay Area's most memorable stories. That includes Christmas Day 2007, when a man was killed by a tiger that got loose at the San Francisco Zoo. We did the first live shot. Officer with a rifle on my left, another officer with a rifle on the right, guarding us. A much happier feline story led to Vic's first major success on social media. Dusty is a cat burglar. Vic's story on the Burlingame cat that stole hundreds of items from neighbors caused a sensation. He stole Kelly McClellan's bikini bottom. And then came back about 10 minutes later and took the top home. The story got millions of YouTube views and Dusty became almost as popular as Vic Lee himself. Wow. Oh, we love it. I'll miss you guys too. Oh. Yeah. I can't believe after 50 years, I mean, we just had this big celebration upstairs. Yeah. What are the emotions that you're experiencing right now? Overwhelmed. Just totally overwhelmed. I mean, I really, had it been my way, I would have just sort of slid into the night and passed away, you know, just into the night. But this was We're ready. just awesome. And thank you so much. You know, honestly, I just... You're, you're too big of an icon and yeah. a legend yeah. to just yeah, sort of no, slink away no, into the no, darkness. No, 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 Just for KleptoCat alone, right? I know. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, we had that big party upstairs, and KleptoCat was there. Uh, that blew my mind. Klepto, Klepto on YouTube... My story has more than a million hits, and it was broadcast wow. in Asia, China, yeah. uh, Europe, Australia, Ukraine. Wow. wow. It, it honestly, uh, it went all over the world. It went ballistic, all over the viral.
This it's, guy deserves so a parade. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Not the, the cat, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cat was the grand marshal of the pet parade. There you go. Game. Well, it's yeah. so funny. I, I used to joke with you all the time because you spent so many years uh, on the police beat and, yeah. and yeah. covering hard, serious news. And, and every day I would see you and I would ask, What's going on with the seedy <laughs> underbelly of San Francisco today? And But you ate that uh -oh. stuff up. Well, you know, uh, as I always say, if your beat is crime in courts, it's a job for life. Right? <laughs> right? There's always enough material to go. And, you know, um, I mean, it's important. People care about their safety. Uh, crime is a constant concern for everybody. And it's a beat that I sort of, you know, got by virtue of the fact that I... Early on in my career, I was an investigative reporter. Of course, that's sort of redundant. Every report should be investigative, but quote unquote, I was doing a lot of investigative work, and it sort of just transitioned, uh, segued into crime and courts. Wow. Yeah. Any grand retirement plans? Sleep in late. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Then we'll take it from there. <laughs> I thought it was funny. We had the, this big party for you upstairs in a celebration <laughs> of all your years. And uh, I didn't realize there's a, a fight going on amongst the other reporters for your cell phone. <laughs> for all the sources yep. that would constantly yep. be calling Vic and trying to, everybody wants your sources. Right. So you could auction those off for Well, days. you know what, so far nobody's paid me enough to, for me to get Okay, okay. all right. Wait, there, there is a price. So we just Larry know there and I will discuss that. We just haven't gotten to the price point yet. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank, thank you, Larry. An you know, unbelievable career. It's been so great working with all of you and with the ABC7 News family. I'm so so glad that this is a station from which I'm going to retire. We I, are too. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not done yet. You're going to join us for four at four in a few minutes. You don't even know. Oh, I am. Yes, yes. you are. I was <laughs> going to go home. No, no you got to hang out a little bit longer. You're not leaving. Yeah. <laughs>